Encapsula Nanosciences presents Liposomal Doxorubicin. This animation describes pegylated and non-pegylated doxorubicin liposomes, doxosome, and also doxorubicin liposomes containing reactive lipids that are suitable for conjugation to proteins, peptides, and antibodies, immunodox. Pegylated doxorubicin liposomes are formulated in a stable ammonium sulfate gradient and remote loaded with doxorubicin. The pegylated liposomal membrane is composed of a saturated phospholipid known as hydrogenated L-alpha phosphatidylcholine, cholesterol, and DSPE PEG2000. Regular doxosome formulations do not contain reactive lipids for protein, peptide, and antibody conjugation. Immunodox formulations contain various reactive pegylated lipids on the surface of the liposomes, which make each pegylated liposome suitable for conjugation with various compounds that can react with azide, succinyl, carboxylic acid, melamide, PDP, amine, biotin, cyanor, NHS, and DBCO. Liposomes can also contain folate for targeting folate receptors. To enable remote loading and encapsulation of doxorubicin, an ammonium sulfate gradient must be created. Ammonium sulfate is encapsulated inside the liposomes. Meanwhile, outside the liposomes, there is a 10% sucrose solution in histidine buffer. Pegylated doxorubicin liposomes are formulated by remote loading of doxorubicin into the plain pegylated liposomes containing an ammonium sulfate gradient. A vial containing doxorubicin in buffer is mixed with a vial containing plain pegylated liposomes in an ammonium sulfate gradient. The newly mixed liposome drug suspension is then heated to 60 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes and then allowed to cool down to room temperature. During the remote loading process, several reactions occur. The doxorubicin drug is a membrane permeable amphiphilic compound that is allowed to pass through the liposomal membrane. When the doxorubicin is neutral, it is able to pass the liposomal membrane and enter the intraliposomal space where it is protonated. Protonation occurs because the pH of the intraliposomal space is lower than the pKa of the ionizable amine of doxorubicin. This process is allowed to continue because the ammonium in the intraliposomal space acts as a proton pool and is the driving force behind the reaction. After being protonated, the doxorubicin is bound with sulfate which allows the doxorubicin complexes to bind with one another. These larger aggregates are no longer able to go outside of the liposomal membrane. As these reactions continue to occur, more doxorubicin complexes are created and precipitate out, creating a long, non-flexible band of doxorubicin sulfate aggregate. This band stretches the membrane to form what is known as a coffee bean structure. Pegylated doxosome is composed of a 55 to 40 to 5 molar ratio of HSPC cholesterol PEG2000 DSPE. The concentration of encapsulated doxorubicin inside the liposomes is 2 mg per milliliter. Pegylated immunodox is made in the same way with one significant difference. Immunodox contains a reactive moiety attached to the end of the PEG chain of the lipid that makes up to one mole percent. The reactive moieties are azide, succinyl, carboxylic acid, malamide, PDP, amine, biotin, cyanor, NHS, DBCO, and folate. A non-pegylated form of doxorubicin is also available as non-reactive doxosome or reactive immunodox. These non-pegylated liposomes are made in a citrate buffer, 
The liposomal membrane contains both L-alpha-phosphatidylcholine, an unsaturated lipid, and cholesterol. The reactive lipids such as succinyl, glutaryl, MCC, MPB, PDP, dodecanyl, dodecanyl amine, biotinyl, biotinyl cap, cap royal amine, or NHS, are attached directly to the head group of an unsaturated lipid which is incorporated into the liposomal membrane. Non-pegulated products come in a three-vial kit for on-site remote loading via a pH gradient. First, to create the appropriate gradient, the sodium carbonate solution vial 2 is added to the citrate buffer containing the plain non-pegulated liposomes vial 1. The solution is then shaken to ensure homogeneity. Next, vial 3, which contains doxorubicin drug dissolved in saline, is added to vial 1, which now consists of the pH gradient mixture containing the plain liposomes. The newly formed non-pegulated doxorubicin liposome solution is heated to 60 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes and then allowed to cool to room temperature. During the remote loading process, the doxorubicin drug, a membrane permeable amphiphilic compound, is able to freely pass into the intraliposomal space due to the pH gradient. Once in the intraliposomal space, doxorubicin is protonated and bound with citrate to form larger doxorubicin aggregates. These doxorubicin complexes are unable to get outside of the liposomal membrane due to their size. As new doxorubicin complexes are formed, they come together to form flexible doxorubicin citrate bundles. These bundles can form into three different shapes, a long singular band that stretches the membrane, a closed circular band, or an opened U-shaped band. The circular and U-shaped complexes are the most common. Non-pegulated products come as a three-vial kit. The doxosome non-pegulated vial 1 contains the plain liposomes in a citrate buffer. Vial 2 is the sodium carbonate solution used for creating the pH gradient. And finally, vial 3 contains the doxorubicin drug dissolved in saline. Each non-pegulated doxosome mixture contains 2 mg of encapsulated doxorubicin for every milliliter and has a drug to lipid ratio of 0.25 to 1. The non-pegulated immunodox kits come in the same 3-vial fashion as the non-pegulated doxosome kit. However, vial 1 of the immunodox kit contains a 1 mole percent of the reactive lipid. Vial 2 and 3 are the same as the doxosome NP kit with vial 2 containing the sodium carbonate solution and vial 3 containing the doxorubicin drug. Each non-pegulated immunodox mixture contains 2 mg of encapsulated doxorubicin for every milliliter. Non-pegulated immunodox kits contain reactive moieties such as succinyl PE, glutaryl PE, PEMCC, MPB, PE, PDP, PE, dodecanyl PE, dodecanyl amine PE, biotinyl PE, biotinyl cap PE, cap royal amine PE, or NHS PE. Pegylated doxorubicin liposomes are shipped as one vial as are pegylated immunodox products. Doxorubicin is already remote loaded to the pegylated liposomes. All non-pegylated products come in three vial kits that include two needleless transfer devices to perform the remote loading via pH gradient on site. Further information about liposomes may be found at our website, www.encapsula.com.
Requests for liposome formulations customized to your specifications and pricing information may be sent to info at encapsula.com. This animation may be used by researchers, professors, lecturers, and students for educational purposes only. No part of this animation may be used for commercial purposes including development or proposed development of a product. The reagents can only be used for research purposes. Any use of these products in humans or animals or pets for treatment purposes is legally prohibited by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration.